everyone, it's Kristen again. So, um, a year ago, I won funds for a wonderful organization called CMC Foundation for Change, and they provide evidence based uh, strategies for people, for everybody who loves somebody who's struggling with substances. And they created these uh, support groups called Invitation to Change. They're actually not, they're actually more of a learning group with a supportive environment. So when families have a loved one who's struggling, they can go to the invitation to change groups and they learn skills at every single meeting. Um, so they'll learn things like about how ambivalence is normal and they'll learn things about um, motivational interviewing because um, communication is really important so that if your loved one is struggling that you know how to talk to them so that they want to be feel comfortable talking to you and sharing, you know, if they have a relapse or something instead of trying to run the opposite direction or, or you know, hide. Um, so they won um, the $7,125. And it's really exciting because I actually went on to take their facilitator training at the end of last year. So my goal this year is to start running my own invitation to change group. And um, so in 2022, they provided 230 hours of training, and in 2023, they provided 372. In 2022, they trained 1,493 people, and in 2023, they trained 2,489 people. Nice. Yeah. And then in 2022, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, they launched 20 groups, and in 2023, they doubled that, and they launched 40 new support wow. groups. So, yeah, and, and our efforts to change the culture around substance use treatment extend beyond the reach of our workshops and trainings. In 2023, we also engaged 3,000 listeners on our new podcast, Rethinking Rock Bottom. It's really, really good, by the way. Um, maybe have a tissue ready, though. It's very good, very informative. It really gives you an idea of how, like, how they're effective, how effective their program is, and how it works in action. And they launched a new quarterly seminar series. I have attended uh, such seminars, um, and they're available to the public for more in-depth training. So they actually did um, a, a whole talk on motivational interviewing, and I got the, the privilege of attending live. And then they recorded it and put it on YouTube. So now it's something that I've actually been able to share with people. And let's see, they've got, uh, they reached um, 8,700 readers through the purchase of their workbook, which is um, the Invitation to Change, a Short Guide and Beyond Addiction workbook. And they expanded their infrastructure to support 161 new group leaders, helping them serve the approximately uh, 400 families that they engage in the support groups annually. And for goals for going ahead for 24, um, they want to ensure that community support is available to anyone who needs it when they need it. In 2024, we plan to launch a new program that will, over the next two years, make free IATC-based training um, of community support available through the website seven days a week. They're working on resources for Spanish-speaking families, and they're working on an evidence-based grief support. Each year in the USA, nearly 200,000 family members grieve the death of a loved one due to substances. So they're trying to mm. develop much needed materials for support. I think your mic cut out. Oh, oh shit. Uh -oh. oh, it's not me anymore. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe it's dead. Ooh. Uh, all right. Let's talk real loud. That did not. I think that sums it up anyway. <laughs> well, we didn't charge.